Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to design the uh, horizontal brace, okay? Um, that horizontal brace, I will start the program first, okay? And uh, start the Opera. And type in address uh, asp.coapay.com slash connect, okay? Okay. Um, so you get an interface here, yeah, and uh, we will keep the uh, brace connection, but uh, we will change to horizontal brace. So there are two type of horizontal brace, and is one is horizontal brace, one is horizontal brace with red plate. Okay, red plate means a cutout, a cutout plate. We will talk about this uh, red plate type uh, horizontal brace, red around gas plate. We call it red plate. Um, we will talk about this uh, red around gas plate uh, horizontal brace later on, on the next tutorial. So today we are going to talk to uh, we will talk about uh, horizontal brace. Right. So when it comes to horizontal brace, the uh, gas to being we call it gas to being gas to Girder, okay. So, uh, the uh, they all gas gas play all connect to uh, column web, all right. So we have uh, these. Uh, you see this one? We have uh, brace. Uh, okay, this uh, bottom one, like this bottom one. We switch to bottom. We want to set the bottom, okay. The bottom one. We have uh, WT. You want to change that? The the uh, WT is uh, behind Casa, right? So uh, so WT is behind Casa. Okay, we have uh, we have side view. See the horizontal brace. We have side view of this brace. Okay. So see here, okay. Basically, uh, there are three parts. One is uh, top brace uh, to beam web, girder web, uh, beam to girder, and uh, bottom brace uh, to girder web. All right. So there's one value called uh, the brace drop. Okay, beam to girder brace drop. Let's see if two inch here, the beam will drop down. Uh, let's say we go to beam girder view. All right. Okay, that's so called beam to girder. Top up steel drop. That's uh, drop two inch. Okay. See here, the the beam top steel is two inch drop to girder. Okay, go to side view. Okay, the beam drop two inch. Now also there's a brace. Okay, uh, we call it uh, brace to good to top of steel drop. That's four inch here. Okay, that's the uh, underside of the gusset. Our our brace connect to underside of gusset. That's four inch drop. If we want to reduce to let's say three inch drop, say. Then you move up, okay? That's only happened to uh, horizontal brace. Okay, it's a uh, set to uh, good. Uh, uh, we set up. Uh, uh, what's that? We set up uh, the bottom, okay? Set up brace for locate on the bottom. So that will move these uh, gas plate up. And the, 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 the top part is still 4 inch, so 
uh, we can uh, uh, we change to setup change to setup of top brace all right set up a top brace um, that's four inch drop okay and uh, let's say five inch we want to drop more five inch drop the gas plate will move down downward one inch Okay, five inch. Now change to five inch, and we can copy the top part configuration to the bottom part. Okay, we can top to bottom. We can copy it. So the top and bottom will have exact the uh, same uh, brace setup. All right. So let's see. Okay. So. Uh, You get copy okay so now so uh, these two uh, top up steel uh, setup allow you to have uh, different top up steel between uh, bing and girder allow you to adjust the uh, horizontal brace uh, drop compared to the girder top steel okay minus uh, minus four inch minus five inch uh, that's normal way we deal with horizontal brace. Okay, the top up steel uh, plane. Oh, okay, these uh, when good to horizontal brace. The top up steel of the horizontal brace normally is like a four inch, five inch lower than the floor elevation. All right, so that's the setup for for you to get this one. Okay, these uh, horizontal brace. This WT brace normally the, the their top steel is lower than the floor elevation, so that's the value uh, you are going to um, side view. Uh, so we go to side view. That's plain view, right? Horizontal brace. Okay. So that's side view. So these two allow you to adjust the top steel of uh, beam to to be a certain distance drop to the top steel of girder, and also allow you to adjust the top steel of uh, horizontal brace to be a certain distance drop to the top steel of girder. All right. So we change back to be like we get this beam and girder to be on same elevation. We change to zero. Okay. So this will lip spin will move up. To be flushed with the uh, more uh, to be flush with uh, being and girder top surface will be flush. Okay, so now uh, we uh, we pretty much get the T shape uh, combined M plate. Okay, so there are three parts of this one. Um, uh, let's say we move up this bin to colon uh, with a combined plate okay um, these uh, combined t-shaped M plate we we uh, can get on the plan view plan view uh, we can get the um, Right, it's a combined amplate. Okay, so these uh, this uh, gusset will be welded to the being uh, web, uh, also uh, welded to the amplate. The, the whole piece being an amplate come together, and uh, then we bolt it to the girder web, and uh, we have uh, these uh, brace. Okay, by bolting. So that's horizontal brace. Um, we also that you see the beam fan into the girder. All right. So we also have uh, uh, only as uh, 
on this been together uh, share connection just like the been together share connection we have cope french all right and uh, these uh, we go to being together this uh, this cope depth is not reasonable we have calculation calculated value here we just copy it okay We can copy it, the calculate value. Okay, let's combine and plate. We only show the bin to go the part. Okay, so adjust the cope, coping depth. Okay, so we get this cope, we get this cope, and uh, let's bin to go the view, go to the side view. This part of and plate, go to the side view is uh, actually it's combined plate. All right, for simple. For for simple uh, presentation, we do that. But actually, it's a combined plate. It's a part of combined plate of this part. Okay, we have uh, continue plate for these uh, brace gusset. Okay, so that's side view, and uh, that's plan view. Okay, so been together. Okay, that's this part. You all this setup again. You see the highlight on the left. Been together. You had to go to side view. When you menu tab, click on been and together. Okay, it's this part. So basically, you get highlighted. See the left side highlighted. Okay, all this value and. Uh, same themes you can go to uh, Gasa to Gerda, Gasa to Beam, okay, and uh, go to Plan View. Okay, so uh, that's gasa, that's gasa to beam, that's gasa to girder. Okay, and you have to set up uh, for a top raise. Then you switch uh, this. Uh, now we are setting the uh, configure. Uh, now we are config the brace on top. So it's on top. You can switch to bottom. You can set up the uh, gasa to beam, gasa to girder, this bolt, okay, by uh, this tab, gasa girder. Gasa beam is just for weld of uh, this one. And uh, you can switch the top and bottom uh, configuration by do this, by doing this. Okay, so that's a combined end plate for horizontal brace. See uh, side view. Okay, combine M plate, T shape M plate for horizontal brace. And we also can go to design load. Okay. So you also, uh, same as vertical brace, you have two low cases. Okay. One, uh, in my suggestion, one for maximum tensile, one for maximum compression. Um, uh, negative value represent uh, the tensile and the positive value denotes the uh, compression okay so and also that's top, top brace and uh, uh, top brace okay top brace bottom brace all right so that one is like uh, I would say normally when you have uh, terms out here, the, the, the other brace should be compression, okay? Um, uh, that's, uh, I don't know, uh, that's a, a, a pattern when these couple of four, actual force coming in. 
Uh, probably that's for Chevron. That's not for this guy. Okay. Um, forget about that. Okay. So um, you can input the top brace uh, actual force, bottom brace uh, actual force. Uh, these uh, uh, weak axis ex uh, shear and strong axis shear. Okay. And transfer force, pass through force, whatever you call. Also, we provide two low cases. Okay, you can uh, all these uh, top brace and bottom brace shear transfer flow uh, should be coming from one single low combination. All right, uh, that's my suggestion. You you uh, uh, many times uh, the uh, the structure engineer provide the connection engineer with maximum actual low, but uh, uh, the maximum tensile compression or maximum value of this top or bottom brace are uh, actually maximum value extracted from different low combinations. So that's a problem. So I would suggest you that uh, these uh, these uh, low inputs should be uh, coming from a single low combination, not multiple maximum value. That's not right. All right. So we have two low cases for you to de provide the uh, multiple low case design in one shot and then after that go to design calculation all right so again we have uh, same as vertical brace we have all this one uh, uh, two low cases all right and also top and bottom combined and break the sketch we expand all of them. We expand all of them. All right. So, uh, expand all of them. We print this one. Print this calculation. All right. So, same thing, I'm not going to print PDF this time. Same thing as before, um, the, you can print the paper or PDF. That's nicely sketched, you see here. That's a horizontal brace with combined M plate. Uh, that's a gas plate view with weak more sections. That's a side view, T-shape combined M plate. That's a being good view, right? So, so that concludes, I'm not going to print PDF this time. That concludes uh, all these, uh, let me stay check, is here. That concludes my tutorial on horizontal brace. Um, it's uh, it's amplate type again, okay. So, and uh, we are going to continue with horizontal brace, red, around gas plate in next tutorial. Bye-bye.